Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. This time it's a remake of an old one, now in HD and with audio commentary. And I want to show you at least two ways to model this part. So, let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the YZ plane. In this case, it's the right plane. Confirm. And I need some circles. First one should be located right here at the origin, and the diameter should be 40. Okay. I need another one, and I can snap here. Yes. Take care that you don't snap the tangency. And if you want. Want to avoid that, just press the ALT key and it will not snap. So this should be uh, 32 in diameter. And let's snap the center point right here. Okay. Then I need one with 140 diameter. Let's just put it here. And another one with 130 diameter. And don't snap. Try to avoid the tangency snap. Okay. Now, the distance between those two circles should be 72, so I want to go for a rapid dimension. I just press the D key, and that would be from this center point to that center point right here, and that distance should be 72. Now let's move those circles. This should be position something like that. And the other one something like this. Now I need tangency constraints from this circle to that circle. From this circle to this circle. Same here, from that one to this one, and from this one to that one. Looks good. It's not constrained. There's one movable curve on this one, and I don't know why. Maybe I missed the tangency. Seems so, okay, from this one to that one here. Now it's okay. Let's go for the trim command. This should be removed, that should be removed. This one, that one, and also up here and down below. And that sketch should be fully constrained. Nice finish that sketch. Now the first solution for this part will be an extrude with an offset. So that's okay, but it should be symmetric and the distance should be 10 millimeters. Now I want to make a a thin extrude and that's possible with that offset here. So let's go for a two-sided offset and it should be 0 and minus 10, that's okay, so it's to the inside, plus 10 would go to the outside, so that's the start in this direction and that's the end in that direction. This looks good, so let's confirm this. Now I want to make with the same sketch another extrude. So go for extrude. Use that sketch here. Make it again symmetric. And go for 5 millimeters. And make sure it's yeah, inferred. It should be added. So yeah, of course it's switched to cut 
the inferred one. It switched to subtract. Doesn't matter. Change it to unite and confirm. Now another sketch on the right plane. Another circle. 40 millimeter in diameter. Finish that sketch. Make an extrude and make sure it's the unite command and it should be symmetric and I want to go for 20 millimeters and confirm. Now I can hide that sketch here, this one as well. And I want to make the rounds of fillets. And I want to reorder that tree here, and that's possible. So let's move this one up there. Now make this one the current feature. Let's make those edge blends and those should be 8 millimeters right here and right there and confirm. Now let's go to this feature, make it the current feature and make a hole. So go for hole. It should be a simple one. Hole size is custom. It should be 20 millimeters. Should be normal to face. It should go through the body. So I just need that center point here. And I can, if I move from this side to that edge here, it will snap onto the center point. And that's okay. And I'm done with the first version. Now I want to reuse those two sketches. I can hide, of course, the complete body. And I want to use this sketch and that sketch. Now I want to go for surfaces and the thickening feature. So let's make another extrude. Select that sketch here. But now I want to have a surface, a sheet. Again, it should be symmetric and it should be 10 millimeters. And apply. Now I want this one, another extrude, another sheet. Again, it should be symmetric and it should be 20 millimeter. And confirm. And I want to fill this here with a bounded plane. So let's go for surface and check where the bounded plane went. Maybe it's here. There you go. Select the curve, that would be the sketch. And I will get here that surface, which is a planar surface. Confirm. Now I can trim if I want. So let's go for a trim sheet. I want to trim this sheet here with that object. And I want to keep that region. That's okay. The other one will be discarded, so let's confirm this. And now I can use the thicken feature. Let's start with thicken. Let's thicken this one first, maybe. And this would be 2.5 in one direction and minus 2.5 in the other direction. Right now it's just the first. So go for none. It didn't go for none because I have already a body here, which I've hidden. Okay, that's okay. Let's confirm or apply. Nice. 
Now let's go for this face. And that offset is wrong, so let's go for thicken zero and minus ten. It seems it did already that thickening, so let's change it, go from 0 and minus 10. And this could be united to that already existing body, which is visible. So let's go for OK. And now another thicken with this surface here. And again, it's 0 and minus 10. And it should be united with the already existing body. So let's confirm this. Hide the sheets. I've just noticed that I forgot to make the fillets. So in order to make them happen, just make this one the current feature. You can do it by clicking here. That's a column here for current feature. And then I can do those fillets or edge blends. 8 millimeter, yes, on this edge and that edge here. Confirm and then make this again the current feature. And I'm done. Now, a third version. Let's hide that body. Use the same sketches. Let's make an extrude with this one. Make it symmetric. Make it 10 millimeter. Confirm. Now let's go for a shell. Go to home. Go to shell. It should be open. Yes. I want to remove this face and that face. And the walls should be 10 millimeters. And confirm. Or well, let's go for no, I'll go for OK. Then use the same sketch to make another extrude. Make it again symmetric. Make it five millimeters. And unite it. Sorry, unite it to the already existing one apply, then go for the sketch which is not visible at the moment. That would be this sketch here. So use it. Unite it, yes, make it symmetric. Go for 20. And again you can reorder Make this the current feature. Make the two edge blends. This one here and that one. Like that. Confirm. Make it again the current feature here. And let's go for the whole and the third version is complete. Like this. Same values and confirm. And I'm done. So, I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. So, thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.